Hey, today we're going to talk about the most game-breaking bug right now that Bethesda has yet to fix, even on the public test servers. If you're new to the game, then you're probably not sure what this is. The public test server is for PC players only to test out early release content so that it comes out pretty much smooth in the end. Well, that's what they would like to happen, a smooth run. Sometimes that's not always the case, because today we're going to go over one of the things that they've yet to fix, and this was done in the public test server. Now throughout all these patch notes, there's yet to be any type of fix for the consumable bug. If you guys are not too familiar with this, then let me explain what happens. For example, let's say that you're participating in a Sheep Squatch event, which can be a complicated event just for one player let alone, so if you're with a group, it's still going to be quite a struggle. Now, let's say that you need to consume a hefty amount of consumables. For whatever reason, maybe you use this to buff up your player's stats. Doing so can actually crash your game and then kick you out of that event. If you're not with the team, then you're kind of SOL when it comes to joining back to that team. This is game breaking overall because let's say that you're trying to participate in that Fosh Knot event and then something happens like this, a bug that kicks you out, then you lose out on that event and maybe a possible chance of acquiring a rare mask. The main idea here is if this does continue to go forward and there's no patch that has been applied to fix this bug, then we are going to lose potential chances at acquiring new plans. A great example would be Invaders from Beyond because if this happens during that event, I think that might be a major stinker in the end. I mean, you're not going to want to just participate or maybe you just do not want to use your consumables at all. Maybe that's the best idea. Do not use your consumables. I would say that's probably going to be the best idea to not crash until they mention this, you know, sometime during the notes. So let's continue on to the next bug, which is the fast travel bug. This one's kind of ridiculous to know that they have yet to fix, but yeah, it's still around. You can tell that I'm clearly on the public test servers as I've just taken out a alien sentry bot. I think that's what they're called. I'm probably wrong on that. So anywho, as you could tell, it took a bit for me to just to get to this location as it just skipped out the first time. Then I was able to fast travel for some odd reason. I'm not sure if foundation makes it easier or or if it's possibly the choice option between yes and no. I'm not sure why this is happening, but again, that is yet to be fixed and it is on the public test servers. I'm sure I'm not the first to say this, but wow, they can fix glitches, but they cannot fix game breaking stuff like that. And I'm sure the fast traveling is not as bad as the crashing one because you can lose potential chances on earning items and all that. Yeah, that makes sense. The fast traveling bug is just one of those annoying ones that I'm sure we can get through, but it would be nice if they could or possibly take a chance at looking into this. I know that they said it was too early about like a month ago because it was, you know, the patch was just released and all that, but uh, yeah, now would be a great time to just throw a patch out and help out a few people, right? I honestly do not understand how they could fix a bunch of glitches, but they cannot fix one single bug or one single game breaking bug. It makes no sense. And it's just one of those things that they, they do quite frequently. I understand the whole glitching aspect of it all, but I do not understand the whole issue with not fixing these bugs ah so yeah i just wanted to make this video so that you guys are aware of what's going on do not get me wrong though i understand that we do have one more month of public test server testing so we're gonna figure out what's going on maybe they'll fix it in the meantime because of course we still have one more month of testing on this so there's still that slight chance that they're possibly just waiting to add this on there we just do not know yet i will let you guys know if they do fix it so so stick along, you know, by subscribing and turn on those notifications. And when that time comes, you'll be notified. And before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our current YouTube members. Diabolic, Lucas, Merciless, Monkey, Hellink, Captain Ziggy, Jace, Mike, Brian, Big Case, Captain Awesome, King Nasty, I Become Death, uh, Syringes, and Dixie. Thank you all for remaining as current members and I appreciate the love and support so that we can continue to improve the YouTube channel and so I can continue making videos. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.